friends, let's read together a story called I Can Be Anything. Don't tell me I can't. It's written by Diane Dillon. Do you sometimes get this voice in the back of your head telling you you can't do that because you're not old enough or you're too little or you don't know how to do that? Well, this story is about that little voice telling us we can't do things. This book is dedicated to discouraging the frightened little voice in our heads that keeps us from being all we can be. I can be anything I want to be. Zoe stretched her arms and spun around. I'm a bird. I can fly way up high, floating on the wind. What if you fall, said the little voice. I won't fall. Birds have wings. If my wings get tired, I can fly in a rocket ship to a faraway planet. I'll meet planet people and have a tea party before I come home. What if you can't get home, said the voice. Zoe ignored the voice. I can be an archaeologist and travel around the world and dig up dinosaur bones and buried treasures. What if you get homesick? said the little voice. You're too little, said the little voice. No, I'm not. I'm bigger than you. Maybe I'll be a scientist and discover things. Or I'll be an inventor and build a robot that will talk louder than you, so I won't have to hear you. The voice was quiet for a little. I'll be a veterinarian and help wild animals like tigers and bears and dragons and I'll give them medicine to make them well and I'll bandage their hurts. What if they bite you? said the voice. They won't bite me. They will. I will be so gentle. They will know I'm helping them. Oh, I know. I'll be a fire girl and rescue people. I'll drive a big fire engine with a loud siren that goes woo 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 and rescue kitty, a kitty stuck in a tree. Do you see the little kitty stuck in the tree right there? You can't drive a fire engine. That's silly, said the voice. That's not silly. I can be anything I want to be. And don't tell me I can't. I'll be an artist and paint pictures. And the museum will hang them up so people can see them. What if you don't have a talent, said the voice. Everybody has talent for something. And so do I. Besides, I am smart. I can do anything if I try hard enough and you won't stop me. I can even be an ornithologist who studies birds or an oceanographer who explores the ocean. Or I can be a musician and give concerts all around the world. I can even be president if I want to be. You're just the voice and I don't have to listen to you. But I'm always with you, you know, said the voice, no matter what you do. You better be quiet or I'll be an alligator and eat you up, <laughs> said Zoe. The voice didn't have an answer to that. It was silent again. I can be an astronomer and study the stars with a big telescope and discover new planets. 
I'll be a famous chef and bake fancy cakes as tall as I am, and I'll write a book about my recipes. You can't write, the voice came back. But I'm going to learn how to write in school. Maybe I'll be a teacher and teach other kids how to write, or I'll be a librarian and have a zillion books to share with everyone. You don't know how, uh, what you want to be, do you? said the voice. Go away, voice. I can be anything. But first, I have to learn to read and read and read and add and I'll read books about all the things I can be. Don't tell me I can't. The end.